Of course, automated tapling has been around since the late 60s and has typically been used for large airspace structures. Conventional automated tapling would be very inefficient if you want to create small parts. So what we have done is we combined the automated tapling process with ultrasonic cutting and robotic pick and place. Typically programming a robot is quite time consuming and we have automated this process. So we go from CAD files to robot code in a matter of minutes. It requires very little knowledge about the design process or the programming and it's typically done by the operator. The system, especially the automated tapling, has a built-in quality inspection system. We have a sensors that measure the gap between the tapes. This information is stored and also presented to the operator. Well, after we created a, a large base laminate, we, we switched and affected to an ultrasonic knife. And this is then used to cut smaller shapes or blanks from the large laminate. This system allows us to build complex net shape product on the second table. For this we use a robotic uh, pick and place end effector. This will pick up the individual blanks using a vacuum grippers and it will position them on the second table. The information about the ply shape the robot gets from the software, uh, not only the contour of the shape, but the software will also calculate which vacuum grippers to use to pick up the individual parts. If we were to build these complex parts manually, it would require several people, often in combination with the laser projection system, to guarantee the accuracy. And now we can do this all within one robot cell using the same robot for laminating, cutting and placing the parts. So using a fully automated laminating process, we estimate that we can save a factor between 5 and 10 in the number of man hours spent on producing this part.